So it's 10 p.m. at night and um, four hours till I've got to get up. My GoPro, and I don't have that other mount, this is how my GoPro is rigged up. It's just this mount under here. This is steel bracket and because of the vibration of the motorbike, they've, they've broken off. And my backup GoPro, I just looked at it and I've actually stolen the mount off that to use on this. So the mounts keep breaking on the GoPro. So this is how I'm gonna do this vlog, 1600 kilometers, constant vibration on a chopper and this is my this is my professional setup <laughs> i'm just going like this and hopefully this will all hold together if not i'm going to be filming i'm just going to have to buy some gaffer tape and, and gaffer tape a tiny gopro i'm going to work it out you know what these these are problems you work out on the road not a great start should have probably planned a little bit better didn't think my gopro would snap at eight o'clock at night but just we're all good we're all good Okay, I better start thinking about getting to bed because um, yeah, I've got to get up in four and a half hours. It's 2 a.m. Let's go. I just want to apologize to the neighbors. It is going to be early and guess what? It started raining. Who would have thought? Let's go.
Okay, for first stop, we've done. Seven oh seven. So we've done a hundred and nine kilometers, and we left at two thirty-seven, and it's three forty-three. So we've just we've done about one hundred and ten k's in an hour, or one hundred and five kilometers in an hour. It's freezing cold. The bike's running good, but I'm just going to fill up, try and figure out how many kilometers we can get for a tank. But this is just a very quick stop. Shit. 11 litres. This is not this is not a 20 litre tank, so I think we're gonna be lucky to get 200 k's of tank. But um fucking thing stuck. Okay, this pit stop has taken us four minutes so far. Just quick look around the bike. Okay, everything looks good, let's keep going. What's dangerous about riding at night is that you can't see any debris on the road, so if you hit a log or anything like that, or an animal, you're probably gonna come off. It is quite scary, because the, the bike doesn't really forgive, it is a rigid, so it's, the riding is quite brutal, but I've done sort of 110 Ks, and I feel okay. Only one and a half thousand kilometers to go. It's pretty cold as well, but I'm not going to whinge about it. Okay, things are tough, things are... So I've had to backtrack 10Ks, hang on, I've got to fix this camera up. I've had to backtrack 10Ks because I ran out of fuel and I had to put it on reserve. Um, we've done nearly 300 kilometers. And um, I think the tank only holds about 150Ks. But luckily me and Cole fixed that reserve problem because, yeah, it got me back to Benella. It's so cold. It's pretty much been raining the whole way as usual. Fuck Victoria. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, let's fill up. Got to remember to turn the fuel back onto full. Also my indicator is stuck on. You can't, you can't have everything. I'm so wet and cold. I'm gonna put V power in, see if this gets me any further. Fuck. Don't get far on a tank. Come on, mate. Turn the fucking pump on. This reminds me of being in the Arctic. Fuck, it's cold. Go on, you fucking bastard. Fucking. 
see if there's a coffee in here. I'm just gonna have a little break. Oh, I can't see. It's 5.49 a.m. We left at 2.37. 2.37, 3.37, 4.37, 5. So we've been going just over three hours. And we've done, oh shit, we've only done about 270k. So we're doing less than 100, we're doing less than 100 kilometers an hour, which is not good. But saying we'll arrive, at the turnaround point, so 800 k's at 11 a.m. I just dropped the coffee all over myself. Fuck. Fuck's sake. Shit, that was a debacle. The only thing I hate is the rain, it just makes it so dangerous. Um, but, yeah. <sighs> just gotta suck it up. And just... <sighs> so cold. <sighs> so wet. Thermals do nothing. Be better when it gets light. Probably get light in an hour and a half. Lost a fair bit of time. I've lost a good half an hour by backtracking and running out of fuel, but just finding your mojo, you know. Freezing cold on, it's been raining most of the way, which is so shit. I'm just putting 98 in. So at this point it's saying I should arrive at 11.30 a.m. which is really good, but it's just really dangerous riding. I'm soaked to the bone, I'm Rockin' freezing. Oh. I'm busting for a piss. I just feel like pissing my pants on the road to warm up. Trying to buy some black tape so I could tape out the indicator that's just staying on because it's not exactly safe, but of course being a massive survey they don't sell any fucking black tape, do they? Who would have thought why would you why would you have black gaffer tape at a servo where cars come? Gloves are soaked, my shoes are soaked. Oh. Anyway, I'm not gonna whinge about it. Just gotta get on and do the job, get the job done. Bike's going okay. And um, at least I could, it's daylight. So. Uh. Hey, look at the lights now. <laughs> what the fuck? We've got permanent hazards on. Must be to do with the water. It'll come good.
just gonna look at my phone. 3,067, sorry, 367 kilometers to go. But when we started, we had 818, so you can take 18 k's off that. So more like 350 k's to go until we turn around. The time is 11.40, saying we're gonna arrive at 11.44. So if we can arrive there before 12, that's really good. Okay, let's play and get out of here. I'm just gonna quickly go around the bike and have a look. Belt's a bit loose. Yeah, I suppose you would have to do that in the rain, did you? Yeah. What's the TC reading of that, 1340? I think so, yeah. Is that yours? Yeah. Ugh. My drug gloves are slowly drying out. You don't know how good that feels. Bike's running good, sort of, apart from the electrical problems, but who cares? the glove but anyway that's just the way it and, um, we're at the dog on a tugger box and I'll just tell you how far I've got to go before we hit 800 k's so 800 k's we then turn around the goal is to do 1600 k's in one day so I've got 200, 244 k's to go. That, and then we turn around. Oh. 
bikes running good apart from the apart from the disco lights but it's only got 200 and 225 k's to go before we turn around um yeah i'm only getting probably 120 k's to 140 k's a tank max so yeah not not great fuel economy but but the bike is so far safe and that's the most important thing um it is cold my feet are soaking wet but try and get there before 12 saying arrival time is 11.58 <laughs> that's the halfway point put me one glove on it's a pretty boring ride the him highway this is just an endurance ride see if I can do 1600 k's or a thousand miles in one day on a panhead rigid it is brutal but I'm just gonna quickly do some refuel It's before midday. So Buruma was where we were heading. And if you remember it was 818 Ks. Well I've got 17 Ks to go. Which means I've done 800 Ks. Now I'm gonna turn around and go back. Yeah, I'm I feel I'm pretty pretty ordinary. Okay, I saying I've got 7 hours and 43 minutes in front of me. It'll be a lot longer than that. The time is exactly 12 noon and I'm heading home.
legs feel like lead. 650k's to go. Um, salad. Banana bread. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm mainly cold. Cold and in pain. Bike's running great. Um, it, it, the wind is really bad. It's a really full on headwind heading home. And um, But I should get home between 10pm and 11pm. I reckon I should do this be around 20 hours my legs feel really heavy i think it just be must be the way i'm sitting on the bike or it's just it's quite a low center of gravity but you know i knew this would be painful embrace the pain dig deep stop whinging about it i mean nobody likes a whinger I just wanted to see how many kilometers we did then. 200 k's we got, and I reckon the tank is pretty much dead empty. So this tank holds about 17 or 18 liters, because I just filled it up with 17 liters. There might have been a liter left, but um, there we go. So you get about 200 k's a tank, absolute max. We have 452 k's to go.
so lucky just poured into violet town put it on reserve about 10 k's ago coughing and spluttering the whole way in here i thought for sure i'd run out and i've just got into violet town it's just conked out just at the servo so <laughs> pushing the envelope a little bit too i've got to fill up a bit earlier but 150 you need a servo if you're lucky you'll get 200 k's 250 kilometers to go so far today we've done 1350 yep two major capital cities it's about a thousand kilometers long 900 k's long and um it's quite scary to ride on it at night it's full of trucks and um when you're on a small um little harley like this and it's a rigid and it doesn't have great lighting it is quite scary you have to have your wits about you so you're holding on for groom death <laughs> and i'm only sitting on 95 100 k's an hour um so anyway the good news is there's 113 kilometers to go we're about 70 miles and i've done it and it should be around the 18 hour mark that i've done 1000 miles and 1600 k so i've been riding non-stop for nearly 17 hours so an hour and 20 to go hour and 10 minutes to go um i would have done 1600 k's um yeah, obviously feeling fatigued, but um, I'm still good, still good to go. Okay, this is it, an hour and, and 10 minutes of riding to go. God, keep me safe. And um, we're nearly done, let's go. It is so cold, it's windy, it's cold, it's just it's about nine degrees. I've got a spa at home. The first thing I'm doing is taking off my clothes and getting in my spa. GoPro, everything you've watched that is vlog is filmed, and this is what I look like after 16, 17 hours, sorry, 18 hours and 50 minutes of non stop riding on a hardtail. Um, now I'm going to get a massive endorphin rush. Living the dream. <laughs> 